Hello everyone. So today I'm doing a look to go with this corset. It is very obviously not exactly fitted to me. I got it at Spirit Halloween and this is the smallest size they have. And I think they make it for mid to large C cups, not uh, large B's, small C. So there's no oomph there. So, that's fun, but that's what we're working with. I mean, Spirit Halloween, smallest size they have, it's not going to work for everybody, right? So, anyway, I'm going to do a makeup look to go with this for TikTok, because I want to do TikToks tonight, so that's what I'm going to do. Do I have any idea where I'm going with this makeup look? No. As per usual, no. Am I going to come up with it as I go along? As per usual, yes. Am I you know, currently looking through my bag for my face powder? Because I don't want to do liquid foundation with this going on. Yes. It's this bag. Big bag. That's my makeup bag. So is this going to take a moment? Probably. Aha! Uh -huh, I found it. Maybe that took a moment. Okay. If I need anything else, I have the bag right there. So, first off, I'm just going to cover my face in the face powder that matches my skin shade. Mostly, I am starting to get a little bit more sun, so it's changing again, which is slightly annoying, but at least this powder is kind of on the translucent side a little bit, but it covers a little bit, and it helps get rid of unwanted shininess, and does help with masking lightly things. It's like a very low coverage foundation powder. It's from the Maybelline Fit Me line and I'm a porcelain. So there's that. And now I'm just gently buffing it, blending it lightly. Now this is actually a custom made blush by me. I used up what was already in here and then mixed a bunch of shadows and things to make this. It just adds the slightest bit of color. And some sparkle. And having the face powder on already kind of helps so that, like, it tones down if I put a little bit too much of this on. And I'll actually put a little bit across my nose. There! Now I have a little bit of color back in my face. Uh -huh. And now I'm going to take my All May Brow Pencil Universal Taupe thing. Y'all have seen me use this before. And just gently glide it over my natural brows. Just trying to keep it on the hairs that are already there. Because I'm a natural blonde. So my brows tend to disappear very easily. So do my lashes. Also, does anyone else have that thing where they just randomly have had at least one solid white eyelash? on one or both of their eyelids for like their entire life. That makes no sense. Or 
is that just me? Because I always have at least one solid white eyelash unless I pluck it. Let me tell you, plucking eyelash hairs is not advisable if you do not like pain. I do not like pain. Why do I do? Why did I try it? Because I was stupid. Would I do it again? No. Now I have very little idea what direction I'm going with this look, but I do know I want the white eyeliner in my waterline. Now this is just CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus White Out. It kind of has like a pearlescent white good sparkly effect in person. So I like that. And this just kind of, you know, supposed to help make your eyes look wider and bigger and more open and help you look more awake. So, that's why I do that. And you know what? I'm going to put a little bit of that on my inner corners. Why am I using this instead of my next jumbo pencil for this? I don't know. Oh yeah, because it already has built-in sparkle. That's why. We're going with that. There's that. And I think over that inner corner portion, I'm just gonna take this lip brush and a shimmery white eyeshadow and just use that. Brand does not matter so much with a lot of things, unless you're going for high pigmentation looks, in which case then it matters. In which case, I really do like for inexpensive makeup to use um, NYX or Hard Candy for high pigmentation eyeshadows. Since, you know, those are fairly affordable. Most things are under $10. And really like that. And a lot of the time for... And you can get these, uh, some shimmery loose eyeshadow things at the Dollar Tree that are by LA Colors that are really great. They have a pearl white, black, a gold, a bronze, which I think is a really good highlight color for some people, for some skin tones. Uh, they have... A honeydew one, which would be a good highlight for me. I've used it as a highlight on this channel before, I believe. Um, they have pink and purple. I don't know if they have blue. It's been a hot minute. But, you know. The good things don't have to be expensive. But that's what I'm getting at. It, today's been a day for me. A, a rough, rough day. I got really, I have um, audio issues where like, I have a hard time processing words 
but I have really strong hearing and can hear like electricity really really well and it's obnoxious. I can hear people who think they don't make a sound. I can hear cats walking. It's, it's a lot. So now I'm just going into the metalized palette by Hard Candy and going into the silver. Probably should have put a white base under this, but that's okay. That's okay. Actually, gold would work better anyway. Well then. Me looking down at my top again. That's gold. Or I'm going with gold. So, oh, hey, actually, I can use this. <laughs> so this is just like NYX Professional Makeup Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. It does not say what color it is there. Oh, no, that's 24 hour matte finish. Pale. The color is at the bottom. Good to know. So I'm just going to put a few dots of that on my eyelids and I will take another brush. Uh, doo -doo -doo. This one actually came with my hard candy metal eyes set. And I will just use that to spread the concealer where I want it. Do I have a proper concealer brush? Maybe. Does this work? Yes. Am I totally going to have to remind myself to wash this brush after I'm done doing that? Absolutely. Am I going to remember? Who knows? Living with memory issues due to mental illness sucks. Okay, so now we have a base and I'm actually just going to leave this brush out where I can see it and that will remind me to clean it. Okay, so instead of the silver, we're going in with the gold because that matches my outfit better. And I'm just going to cover my eyes in gold. And luckily, this eyeshadow is pretty layerable. Layerable. And I'm just using a small eyeshadow brush for this. I could technically be using a bigger one if I wanted to. Hi, Luna. My cat just walked in the room. She's currently looking at the tripod I have set up for my phone. Since I'm currently using my iPad to film this, it won't fit on the tripod set up. Otherwise, I might have better lighting. I mean, I can... Yeah, see? Now, like, I turn it over this way. You get the idea. But... So that's the lighting I'm going to be working on this for. I do need to get a better setup for being able to film for YouTube, but I can't film makeup tutorials on my phone because of space problems. So, there is that. Hmm. I think the NYX Jumbo Pencil might have actually worked better for this. I think I have used it in the past on this channel for this makeup and it worked really well but oh well you live and you learn and it still shows up pretty shiny on camera it looked like with the other light so that's 
good. Now, if you do not follow me on TikTok already, but you follow me here, my TikTok is always linked in the all my links. That is in the description box below, and it is fairy underscore cat fairy spelled F A E R I E. No, that's in cat spelled C A T. I, I don't do anything interesting with my spelling of cat. But if you didn't know, now you know. I also have some um, wish lists in that as well. For a, And one of those wish lists has cosplay items. As well as stuff for when I start Twitch streaming. In case. As well as a wish list for my DIY stuff and I believe the crafting TikTok is also in there that's crafty Kentuckians both spelled with a K because that's what I wanted what we I want to do and crafty Kentuckians is a thing done with my metamorph. Now for those of you who may be unaware, a metamorph is a polyamorous term for the partner of my partner whom I'm not also dating. Now I have decided I want kind of a crown with this look, so I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And kind of make like a circlet crown shape across my forehead. And then for the center, I want a crescent moon shape. A House of Night fan. Hood, maybe showing a little. But that's what I want my center gem to look like. And then I think I will go with stars on either side. Okay, so now I will take that same brush again with the gold for the stars. Ah, see, yes, the gold shows up a little bit better. And I will just follow. that shape that I created for the stars and yes I know in this lighting it does not look like it works super well with my skin tone and honestly gold is not one that I normally do wear with my skin tone I usually prefer silver tones but today I am wearing gold, so this is what we are doing. And then I'm going to take that small little lip brush again since that was only in white earlier, and use silver on that. And 
to cover the moon. See, I personally think silver looks better with my skin tone. And then for the band, I'm just going to take this NYX professional makeup ultimate shadow palette and this purple because I'm me of course I'm going to use purple and I'm just gonna gently Place the purple along the band. And then I'm going to go in with that shimmery white from earlier and cover that purple, which will add some shimmer value and lighten it up. And this is probably going to be initially uploaded while I am doing the TikToks in this look. So, if you see this while I'm uploading, go feel free to check out my TikTok. It will be linked down below. Okay, okay. I'm liking it. So now I'm going in with the next Epic Ink Glyliner liner in black. Well, that kind of sets a little bit. I'm doing a very basic wing. You've probably seen me do this on my channel a million times already. Okay, I don't have that many videos up. But if you are a frequent watcher and re-watcher, then possible. Anyway, you get my point. Trying to stay as close to the lash line as I can for my initial bar. I don't know if you guys can hear that sound, but my cat is eating. Eh, sister's not towards. I guess I'll thicken that line up. And I kind of want to do those little points on my thing. because kind of the part of the point of this character is uh, 
white tiger. So, I've never done this character before. So we'll see how that goes. Just kind of want to point that slightly a little bit more. And since I'm using uh, black lipstick, I am going to do my trick. That kind of makes my mouth look a little bigger. Now the eyeshadow stuff has set in a little bit, so I'm just cleaning off my brush a little bit. Always keep, you know, makeup remover wipes or something nearby. And just going on in with the same sparkly white as before. And dot that over the rubble. Actually, since everything is more set, you can just actually do like that. So, that's cool. Cool. I'm liking, I'm liking, and because I am Mia, you see that, that's my little beauty mark that's natural there, so I like to emphasize that with the NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner in brown. Just the slightest little emphasis. check that I didn't leave a uh, too balmy lip balm on myself because I'm again forgetful mental illness already brought, mentioned that because this is a matte lipstick this is NYX liquid suede in alien again the lipstick you've probably seen me use a lot And get my Cupid's bow. And I am going to use the small eyeshadow brush from before and the gold from before on my lips is this something most makeup artists would consider advisable I'm not sure But A, it helps with drying down time, and B, I think it gives it a cool effect. Now, I think that looks pretty darn cool. 
Now, if you don't care about it being transfer proof, you could also cover this in a clear gloss. And I think that would also have a cool effect. But, uh, as you may have seen in previous videos, I am a bit of a vapor, so making it more transfer proof just makes it easier to be able to do that and not worry. I forgot to pull out the eyelash curler. Do I really need the eyelash curler? I also left out the brush. I did not put one of my brushes away. There it is. I buried it. But, oh well. Eyelash curler not needed. Since this look isn't dark or anything. Now I'm just trying a trick I used to see on makeup YouTube all the time. Where you go as far down to the roots as you can. And do a little shake. you can see it better in the shadows anyway and then probably with the other light you'll be able to see them a little better technically yes I could use false eyelashes but I do not like I can feel them the entire time they are on, and it feels uncomfortable. That might just be because of the autism. I do not know. But yeah, I like that. I like it. Am I going to do an eyebrow pier fake eyebrow piercing with eyeliner now? Could I make this more realistic? Yes. But. Uh, no. I'm not going to. Now, use a highlight palette, whichever one you have. I'm just going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills because that's what I still have. Yes, it expired several years ago. But I still have it, so I'm still going to use it. And I'm just going to go into Star, which is the silver, because that's what I want to do. And just on the high points of my cheekbones and right here. And I'm going to go slightly heavy. So that means I'm going in for a second layer. And then just blend. And that's it, we're done. Now I know my videos are rather long and I'm sure not everybody likes that. And that's okay. But for those who prefer to see the full step-by-step -step process, I hope this helps you. Now remember, you are unique. You are special. Be yourself. Let your uniqueness shine. And don't let anyone dull that shine. Because you were born to share your shine with the world. I don't care what anyone else says. You are here to share your uniqueness, your specialness with the world. So don't just conform to what everybody expects of you. Don't just conform to what everyone wants you to be. Be yourself and do what makes you happy.
be happy. Because at the end of the day, all you really have every day of your entire life is yourself. Sure, you have blood relations, but some of them may not be there for you. And yeah, great friendships, A+. Plus. I can recommend, definitely want you to experience and enjoy that. But you gotta take care of you. And you gotta show who you are. And what makes you special. And what makes you unique. Because nobody else can do that for you. Nobody can be you except for you. And to all my systems out there, that means letting each of your altars be themselves too. I know it can be scary sometimes, but you can do it. But if you're in an unsafe environment to come out as trans or whatever, wait until you're in a safe environment because I don't want anything bad to happen to you. All right? Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Bye.